Good evening, everybody. It's Anna. I just finished my live haul here. It's Wednesday evening, and now I'm going through my jewelry bag. I told you I could barely wait, so that's why I'm doing a pre-recorded video. I really wanted to go through it. So I'm going to, um, I already have it ripped open. This is take three on my video, <laughs> but I did not look through it yet. Um, if you're new here, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you're viewing this at the first time, and you're not subscribed, thank you for stopping by. Um, for returning viewers and subscribers, thank you for so much for coming back. Um, I buy, collect, and resell vintage costume jewelry, some gemstones, and any fashion jewelry, um, sterling, any type of jewelry that I think is nice, I'll buy and keep it or attempt to resell it. But anyways, let me get started on this and let's see what's in here. Um, as I said, I can barely wait. That's It's really getting hard for me to wait. Um, these are nice. They're glass, I believe, and on brass post. They don't have a marking on them. A lot of time they say, um, like, these look like something that would be a Japan pair of earrings, but I believe they are. But they're nice. There may be a necklace in there. I think they're nice. This is, don't want to break it, so we'll wait. Uh, that's interesting, huh? This is a safety pin bracelet. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's neat. It's nice. Let me get a neck. We'll just use this one. And we'll move this over to the side so I can show things. And let me lift my camera just a tad. So we can actually see the neck. All right, okay, this is shell, as you can see. Shell necklace, it's long, I have that doubled up. Like that, probably have a couple broken things in there. I typically get something broken, which is kind of terrible. Um, okay, there's the shell, you saw that. The earrings, let me rip it open better so I don't break anything. These have a maker mark on them. Can we see that? Let me take a quick look. These are Hong Kong. I should have known that. Hong Kong. I'm sure there's two of them. There is two of them. Hong Kong plastic faux pearls. Something on that one. Probably a Hong Kong necklace to go with it. I found Jade in my last one. Maybe went the other one. I figured maybe she was putting some good stuff in them. These are broken. Nice glass rosary beads. They're pretty. It's busted. I can't even hang it up. But um, looks like all the channel pieces are there. But there's that. I'm really close. Let me move it a little bit move back a small amount. This is nice too. I, I, oh, that's nice actually. Look, look, look. Nice glass. It's strung on a, um, I think it's hematite. These are crystals or glass. Don't, probably I think glass. And then a little ball on it. Let me put it on the neck. It hooks. You can put it two different lengths. Um, this is a handmade piece. It's nice though. It's a pretty necklace, huh? I think it is. I really like that glass. Somebody might really want to restring that actually. I have a nice vintage. Oh, I have a vintage necklace here. I always get real excited when I find them. Oh, that's a little beat. Oh, look at that while I Let's see who this is. You know, pull it up. It's unmarked, but it's vintage and it needs cleaned up a little bit. Look, I like it, probably because it's red. That one's pretty. With this, um, looks a little faded there. Um, I don't see, that's it. Maybe there's a maker's mark there and I have to clean it and look better. But. I'm, I'm doubling it on. That's that, that's pretty. Gold tone metal and these are acrylic of some sort. Leave that tassel hang there and pull out the next one. Oh my, how lovely. I love what I find. 
find these. I still get excited over there. I almost bought a set at the other thrift store. I'm glad I didn't look. I, I sell these um, quite often. People like these. Um, spring ring clasp. A lovely AB crystal set uh, necklace. I mean, I don't know if the earrings are in here or not, but look. I'm hanging on the neck. It's a little long. It's very pretty. Let's double it. Look at that. I think it's a nice one. It's in good shape. For a second, I think something else. Oh, yeah, it was so hard for me to control myself from from opening this. I feel like I have no self control at this point. Very nice, very lovely. Long could be if it has a um, it's probably not doubling material unless you wear this choker. But it's nice. These are shell, um, good for crafting. Somebody might like those. I'm gonna do like small craft, like a small nice craft jewelry jar, I think, with um putting things. Oh, I like this. Oh, I need to figure out exactly what's going on with this. Oh, it's a pair of purse strings. I'm only saying what's going on with it. These are milk glass, I believe. I'm not really sure. And there's Mary. It looks like it should open. Our Lady of Lourdes, how do you pronounce that? Pray first. Um, Lourdes, I don't know how you pronounce that. But these are a long rosary. I got several pairs of rosaries in here, I think. These are the second pair. Those are a glass. And what's this? This one has a sign on it that says a sterling silver clasp. These are faux pearls. They are faux, yeah, they're strung in between. But they have a sterling clasp on them. I don't see a maker's mark on it. There's a lot of jewelry here. Um, oh my, look that. I'm gonna show that next, it's huge. All right, there's that. This is big, it's kind of nice, huh? What do you think about that? Big shells, like smaller shells, like it's strung on there, tied on there wood pieces. This is nice, I think. It's different. Hold on a second. Um, I'm going to put it on the box. There's that. Those are two big shells, as you can see, with some things there. <laughs> with um, some smaller ones on. It's nice. I think it's cool. This is definitely Hong Kong or Japan. The next one pulling out is Japan and I like it I like the oh this is nice actually I like the Japan I have a large bowl of it I have some very lovely Japan that looks high in Japan if that's I need to study and I need to find more out about Japan jewelry it's nice those are acrylic and they look like yeah, you know, like glittery, and it's triple strand, and it does not need that. It's it's a nice, pretty pastel um, color, and I'll be keeping that one because I like my Japan very much. It's pretty. The next one, it's a short triple strand with a J hook. The next, it's a little bit of mess, but that is the jewelry that I'm wanting for, so don't mind. There's this. This is acrylic. Um triple strand as well. These are plastic pieces, I believe. Um, yeah, it feels like plastic and that feels like rubbery and these are plastic. They look like, you know, like those glass ones, but they're not. Um, but it's still a nice little necklace. has a toggle clasp on it and I'm going to leave it hang there while I get the next one. Guys, I'm working on my, trying to work on my presentation as much as I can. This is cute. Let me show this one. I'll get this next. Um, it's a bracelet that says a name on it. It says Sarah. And it has these really, I had a bracelet like it's not long ago. I think I sold a lot of them, like a jewelry lot on one of my sales. And, oops, there's nothing on that. Um, see, it has these little glass beads on it. Polka dotted glass and it says Sarah. I don't think I... 
don't know if I have a subscriber named Sarah. If I do, you want that, you can have it. <laughs> Not, um, I think this is knotted up or something. Um, oh my, or is it supposed to be like that? What? Oh no, it's twisted here. I think, or I do not know. I'll figure it out later. Let's just let me. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna hang it on here and show it to you. Um, I think it's kind of knotted up. I have to figure it out. It's it's plastic. This is acrylic pieces, and I think it's twisted up there. I'll work on that later. I'm not gonna try to untie it right now. Um. It's a lot here. You never know what you're gonna find. I always hope I find something really fantastic. Um, these, I think this is like, you hang glasses on this, I guess. Yeah, these are little glass pieces here. It's kind of cute, like they're multicolors. A lanyard, that's what it's called. I used to use them at work. I'd always have to have my glasses on. Now they're on my forehead all the time. This is cute. Look at this. Let me get rid of the lanyard. Look how cute this is. It's a bracelet. It has a marking. No, it does not. I don't think it says anything, does that? I don't know. Anyways, look at the little turtle. He's glass. And these are glass, like little lamp work beads and faceted glass. And that's little art glass with wood. It looks like a kindergartner neck in a shell. Looks like somebody made this. It's pretty cute though. Another shell necklace. This one's different though. Look, it's different colors there. Took it, put it back on the screen. Got it all out and piled here. Here is a, a shell bracelet with a toggle clasp on it that says friends. This one says friends on it. Somebody probably made that handmade homemade. this thing look at it it's blue um seed beads and wrapped with like looks like foil and I don't believe it's sterling it's just a uh a base metal I have it doubled up so I can hang it there that's that oh this looks nice on this. This is like shell painted here. Huh. It's missing the clasp. There's glass pieces and the broke pearls and there's a chip that's a slither that's broken. They have a very thick layer on them. I don't know if there's a maker mark on there. It has a sensor tag hanging on it. What's it flat? This is nice. This is nice. You hear me talking to myself. Oh, this is nice. Looks nice, kind of. Oh, it's pretty costumey, but still pretty. Um, I'm going to pull it up in a minute. I'm untangling it. Okay, so it's this silver tone and pretty glass pieces on it. Those are faux pearls. Yeah, those aren't round. Um, it's pretty though. You think it's a pretty necklace. It's nice. It's double stranded in silver tone. Yes, I'm doing this Wednesday night. I probably won't release this till like maybe tomorrow after my thrifty Thursday video, possibly or Friday. Yeah, I don't know. Who is this? Um, while well, you're looking at that, and I'm trying to figure out this is not. It is. 
Fablo or something. I have to look at this closer here. Let me get take that one down. It's this. These are like wood or some kind of nut or something or acrylic. I, I'm un, I'm uncertain. It's cool though. It's a necklace. Obviously, oops. It looks a little worn. Um, it has a lobster clasp and it looks a little warm and worn not warm here is the goodness i can paint my nails they're a mess um they are a mess i like i said i work with my hands they're they're it's coming a phasing down i don't know who that maker is if you do it feels like it would stick to a magnet like i said i can kind of i can tell by touching and i'm sure a lot of people can next is this this has a, this is a nice black and red glass. It's broken, a piece of it's missing, so I can't, I can't do the screwing of it, you know what I mean? That's broken too, this is a craft piece, but those, some of the glass and red, black and red beads could be used. Here's the little pendant. My hands, I just dug through all the other jewelry than this too, I feel like they look filthy. Um. <laughs> Makes your hands messy. This, these are faux pearls. They're nicer class ones. These are pink. I don't know if you can see that color. Yeah, so there's a lot of jewelry stuffed in this bag. They said she was, um, you know, they, they get a lot of jewelry and, and they need to process it and get rid of it. That's a nice necklace, though. And then there's this nice, it has pieces of, that is stone. I'm not sure what kind. Um, pretty agate of some sort, right? And it has a lobster claw. There's that. Bracelet. Hmm, look at this. This is a vintage one. I don't see a maker mark on it. It's a little flat acrylic disc and some are painted with black stripes. Oh, this is adorable earring. Oh my. Look. Look at that. I don't know if I have the other one. Little, like, kind of like lamp pork mushrooms. I <sighs> cut these nails off and go start going to the salon now that I'm not working so much. I mean, just occasionally. Just until they get on track. I feel like I need help. I wish I knew somebody knew how to do it. Okay. There's that. Um, what else? We have this. That's a very short foot plastic faux pearl choker necklace. Those are a shade like a pink. A long, I got another one I'm bringing up is a long spring ring clasp. I have it doubled up. These are plastic faux pearls. I don't know what this is. Um, this is possibly another lanyard. I don't know. It has these ends on it. That's plastic. In there. There's more jewelry in here than I anticipated. There's a lot of jewelry in there. Um, teacher charm bracelets. <laughs> that agate's nice. Um, like this bracelet, I mean. <laughs> they have little apples all over them, like for the teacher, so it's kind of funny. I don't know if they would wear that. I guess if a child gave it to them, they wouldn't deny it and state it and say they liked it, but there you go. More teacher's jewelry. I just found a bunch of, like, four Coro apples at the thrift store. I showed that in my video I did today. This is nice. I think it is. Look. It's like plastic or something stuck on it. Let's see. It's a pretty bracelet. Trying not to like break anything up. This is just plastic, 
just glass necklace little seed beads somebody put together with some amethyst earrings handmade ones but there's one amethyst earring I saw lapis in here as well I haven't gotten to them yet there's this this is a nice cobalt blue it's lovely actually the necklace that's pretty these are probably stone. Um, this is um, glass, I would suspect. Um, it's really pretty, though. I like the way that looks, the colors. These look like Hong Kong earrings. So I'll show that in a minute. Um, goodness, God, there's a lot here. One of these glass and necklaces are coming up. I'm on it. Glass seed bead. With a glass chunk, Morono style. That's, I like this one very much. I wonder if it's earrings that match that in there. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, red um, seed beads and a nice Morono style piece. Looks like a tongue. That reminds me of Mick Jagger's tongue. <laughs> Joking. Um, what's that? Mick Jagger used to stick his tongue out. No, it says lips. Gene Simmons tongue. Okay, there we go. Mick Jagger was the lip man. Um, had big lips. This is a modern piece. This is nice, I think. Looks a little maybe damaged. Or is it supposed to look like that? I think it's supposed to look like that right there. Acrylic. Um, necklace. <laughs> I went up there because you can't. I the way my camera position, you can't see it. There we go. Goodness. Probably I mean the whole thing. There's this. This may be I don't and Alex is that Alex and Ani is it called? These bracelets like this. That's pretty. I will put that on there. Playing around with trying to improve my uh this is nice i think this i don't know what this is actually it's set in sterling in cord with sterling pieces on it what's that called if anybody gets this far um i've seen this before um oh there's that It has a leather cord and sternly findings on the end. All right, I found the other turquoise earring. Somebody made some homemade earrings. There's turquoise, like those. There's some tiger eye and there's stone. I thought I saw lapis. There's another pair of broken rosary beads. There's a lot of rosary beads in here. I don't believe they're sterling. These are white glass. They're busted as well. And there's a piece of it that goes to those. This is Lila Products. I don't know who that is. Look how long it is. Black glass and what appears to just be some kind of um, base metal on there. Find the other little mushroom earring. They're cute, I think. And yeah, somebody made a lot of homemade earrings and they threw them all in here. We have rose quartz and white quartz. Don't know what this is. Laramore or something, maybe. Aqua, I'm not sure. I'll look at that closer. If there's the other amethyst, and this is a different color of blue that I haven't seen. It's a lot of these. Somebody made like a bunch of homemade stone earrings and they tossed them all in here. <laughs> like, there's these ones. What? There's a lot of different stones in here. There's these two, these look like turquoise. Um, look. Cute. 
actually. There's another turquoise one. These are nice. These are glass. These are a vintage looking earring. Those are glass, different pieces of glass, um, colors of glass. Dangle earrings. Another pair of mushrooms like to be made. Look how cute. Another color of mushrooms. I hate when I wear nail polish and then I take it off and it makes your nails yellow. I typically, I'd rather not wear it, but at the condition of my nails, I've had to, um, to cover up like the damage on them from using my hands so often, but I don't really like it. Um, <clears throat> for simple fact, it turns my nails yellow, like the different colors and the rest of them are all just ripped off from working here. Remember, I did, I did um, if you don't remember, if you're new here, at one point I was so paranoid about my hands, I was doing glove videos. When I, well, when I did the, like, showing the different types of ears of jewelry, I thought they were appropriate, and I may do that if I do a nape ear video. Who knows? I might use my gloves again. Those are all colored earrings, for different stones, very nice. There's another one. I got, like, 20 pairs of them. Those are worth, like, five a pair piece, right? It's another pair. They're all over. There's so many. And a lot of little mushrooms, too. They're all cute. There's like a bunch of little mushrooms. A bunch of little glass, like, lamp work mushrooms. Different colors. And a bunch of stones. This is broken. It's um, shell. It's glass. That looks like glass. And... I don't know what this is like some kind of religious thing I it's not really it's not rosaries obviously there's not enough there it looks like amber it's not even like I know even doing that it doesn't prove it is I do multiple tests at this point I do acid I do salt water test half and half half salt half um uh let me get rid of it it's boring. Half salt, half uh, half water for the um, pieces without metal on them. And you could do acetone as well. There is that. To make sure it's amber because sometimes it's, it's easy to mistake it. More stones. I think I already showed these. These look like coral. So they're just little chunks, but they're still nice. I mean, for somebody that wears the small earrings, they're nice. These, this is quartz, and that's a fabric, white and gold fabric, and it's one of those pe ones you can move up with. That's nice too. I think for twelve ninety nine, I got a lot of nice jewelry in here. Honestly, twelve ninety nine, I, yeah, that plant. And I'm not done. I'm not done, ladies and gentlemen, if there are any watching me. Not done. Nice. More stones. More quartz. Um, faux pearls here. Not unmarked as far as like big. Look at that big hook. These are plastic faux pearls. Oh, look. I mean, that's a big strand. You got one, two, three. They're graduate different sizes. Not graduate, they're different sizes. You've got six strands of pearls shoved together there. Not bad. This is cute. For a little girl or a ballerina or something. My daughter doesn't do ballet. She did do taekwondo. I need to get her back into that. This is cute though for a little ballerina. Those are glass and those are faux pearls. I hope my lighting looks alright. I don't want any sarcastic like remarks or anything, but if you want to like tell me like how the lighting looked in a nice way, I'd appreciate it if it looked okay or not. Sometimes people like just have to be rude to you for some reason, you know, because they don't like themselves, so they come on and they just say it in a nasty manner just to be rude. <laughs> it's whatever. That's fine. It's it's your choice, not mine, and that's your behavior, not mine either. The way you act and what you treat people like has nothing to do with me. And I know that and everything to do with you. It's your character and not mine. It took me a long time to realize that, you know. 
Um, for a while, I used to beat myself up. Oh, they don't like me. At this point, I don't really care because either you like me or you don't, right? If you don't like me, then you don't have to look at me. Or come on, <laughs> look at this thing. I'm just saying I'd appreciate some input on that, but in a kindly manner would be appreciated, like respect for other human beings. Um, as I try to give most people, all people, glass seed beads messed up and bent up, but kind of cool. And the last could be shaped up and somebody might like it. Indeed. I always like the glass ones and I always pick them up. These ones are broke, but they can be easily fixed. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You probably already know. Faux pearls, double strand. Um, double strand and long, just this piece is all still on there. Just needs hooked. A very easy fix hooked up there, but there they are. They're pretty. What else have I on a phone? Anything else? Ooh, broken again. Cute this is a little glass stone. This is broken on the end though. Of course, yeah, I just don't expect it. I mean, for $12.99, yeah, it's fine that she stuck some craft things in here, right? This is wood. I do not know what kind. I think it's like bamboo. Look at it. It's pretty cool. It feels like a snake. If you've ever felt the underbelly of a snake, it feels just like that when you touch it and it's smooth. Um, one way you touch them and it gets, they feel scaly. The other way, they're extremely smooth. These are super cool. Like artisan earrings. No, seriously, um, somebody made these and they're pretty cool. I don't know if I have both of them, but they're neat. Neat, nice earrings. More earrings, more tiny. Here's the other one. So I do them both. And that's glass or a stone. I don't know which one. I'm gonna have to look at these closer. Look, let me show them to you again. I, if I pull them away, they will go I seriously take to take what people ask of me serious. Here, there they are. They're cool. Upside down pyramids. More stones of what sort? Oh my god, it's a lot. I like 20 pairs of handmade multiple stone earrings. Somebody must have been selling them or making them for themselves. Sorry. These are, uh, this is a set of bracelets that are joined together. These are a little beat. Somebody probably craft with these or something. I've seen people make beautiful things. Out. Not these kind of bangles, but the ones with like the solid piece. They make, my sister, I, think, I believe she made something like that. I can't recall exactly what it was. She decorated it. Oops. What's that? Piece to the rosary beads over there. I think this is hematite in, in quartz hair. This one here with a piece of hair in it. Yuck. That's just silver tone findings in the back. And I am showing everything because I want to. Show them what I got in my bag for $12.99. That's why. And some people like to see that, right? If you don't like to see it, you just don't watch it. There's that. And then there's this. Sorry, I'm looking at the clasp. It has a spring ring and black seed beads. And these are black beads as well. It's a very light necklace. May not show for a while on her, but you get the gist of it. The idea behind that. This is Liz Claiborne. This is modern Liz Claiborne. It's, wait, let me um, look at that while I look at it. Um, I don't know how old it is. Well, it's, a, it's a lobster claw. Liz Claiborne is some very lovely vintage jewelry. Don't mistake it, they don't. This is a more modern piece. It is silver tone and glass pieces on it. It's pretty. Looks like sterling, I doubt it is. They do have sterling jewelry from like years and years ago though. I mean, they bought some pieces out. Wood, another wood necklace right there. Differing, and there's some metal on there. That actually, no, there's not wine. That is the lot of uh, the barrel clasp.
Yeah, I'm moving through here. It's on another stone. Oh, look, 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 look. There's those two. Nice, another stone there. Lots of little stones on tiny, just lots of little different colored marshmallows. How adorable. So cute. Shell. Those are cute. I don't know if I have both of them. I have the other quartz that needs fixed, but that's an easy fix. Just needs a wire. Um, what else have we got? Lots of necklaces here, huh? I don't know what this is. Um, it feels like some kind of dyed wood to me. And this piece here is... Feels like wood, too. They're pearl disky type thing. Another st stone earrings. I cannot believe how many stone earrings they have in here. Like somebody's collection came in and she just like jumped them all in here. Here's an earring that needs fixed, stuck on something. Um, I will get it off later. I'm not gonna sit there and here's the necklace. The necklace is fully intact. It's kind of, it's just stuck on that. There it is. It's off. It, it was stuck on a magnet because the pieces are, it's um, a magnetic clasp and glass pieces. And this thing's actually fine. That's cool looking. That's all necklace. What else have I got? This is a necklace. Look at this thing. It's kind of cool looking. It looks a little weird, actually. It's another stone earrings. Looks like um, they look like Laramar. They're stuck on something. There we go. I already showed the other one of that, actually. And this. And this. Ow. All right. I have knots here. I don't know how well it's going to go trying to remove them. Um. Look, look at this. It's a stone tied inside of a net. And you have cord. It's kind of cool. These pieces here are wood. And it's a stone inside of an, a piece of net. I think it's kind of neat. This is all knotted up. And it has the metal that, like I said, I don't know. It, it's the metal sticks to magnet has like just the yucky feel. It's a nice necklace though, I think. Look, it's all knotted off. It's acrylic. It's an acrylic necklace. I'm not gonna untangle it. Um, oh wait, it untangled itself. It, it did, it came out easier than I thought. Um, kind of. It's doubled up. Let me just, it's two strands. I'm gonna double it so I can hang it. Um. It's not the best presentation. I'm sorry. There it is. I don't like the way it feels on my hands. I'll wipe it off. I mean, I'll try to put that in craft, actually, see if somebody can use those. If they're acrylic for something. I think these are prayer beads. They're just wooden beads. Not the two of them. This is broken. It's plastic. It's a, a some sort of plastic necklace, and it's broken. I can't really hang it up to show anything about it. What's this? What's this? Made in Italy. A pair of lovely rosary beads. They're nice. Um, 19, I don't know, I don't think it's sterling findings, but I'll look at it closer and see. Those are faux pearls on there. Carol rosary beads. Oh, how cute. I think Eva's getting a little too old for stuff like this. I still babyfy my daughter to a really high degree. I'm trying not to. There's another coral earring that goes with that. But, because I give her stuff sometimes, I think it's too young. 
but look how cute. Who doesn't want a baby their daughter, right? Who I don't want her. I don't even want her to grow up. I want her to grow up. I'm not going to say that. I don't want her to grow up too fast. Look how cute. She might like it. She might act like she doesn't just leave it lay in her room. Just to humor the mother. So I don't get upset. My feelings don't get hurt. I found the other little shelly earring. Those are cute, I think. Shell and wood. It's like a conch. Is that called a conch like that? It's a baby one, but it looks like one of those big ones you put up to your ear and you can hear the ocean. I think you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure everybody's done that, right? Put your shell to your, your ear and you can hear the, the ocean through. This is what, I don't know what this is. Let me show this thing. Oh my lord of mercy. <laughs> Look. Not that. I'm trying putting it in her jewelry jar. I'll see if she likes it. Wipe it off. Um, this is a big faux pearls wrapped in ribbon. Okay. You have a lobster clasp on it. And that says China on it, I think. Yeah. It's real faded, too. I'm going to double it up and lay it there. It's just, I don't know what I'd do with that. I guess somebody might be able to use that for something. Um, who knows? Somebody might like it. To this is broken. It just bust it like as I was holding. Look, <laughs> it's not funny. Um, it's a big chain, like with beads braided through it. And this, when I was looking at it, that's glued in there. That's how it was made. It's a very poorly made item, and it's broken. Maybe somebody could craft with that. I don't know. So that's about it that I got. I'm weaving through the very bottom. I, got, I, I like all the stone earrings and all the little mushrooms. I don't know if they're all paired up. The mushrooms are adorable. I mean, I think. And I like these things. That, these are really cool. And all the stones. And, and, a lot, and other things. I don't know. I forget what I looked at. I've looked at a lot of jewelry today from the thrifting to this. I had like 12 pounds when I came home. So that, that's a lot at one time. And I probably didn't need this, but I wanted it. Um, so I got it. This is metal. That's nice, I think. It's like five layers. And what else? A pair of rosaries. Another pair, I like five pairs of rosaries. These are stone of some sort or black glass. Look. There's those. Look at them. We all know it's done here with Jesus. Um, and stone. Plastic necklace, it's broken and tangled. And That's it. I well, I have this too. It's got mixed in. Um, a little, that little necklace, and then these. This is what was clicking around down there. A pair of very inexpensive plastic pearls. But that's it. So not bad for twelve ninety nine. I'm gonna pair it up and see if I got all my earrings. Um, all right, I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. And even if you didn't, I appreciate you stopping by my channel and watching. I hope you have a good night. And I hope I got all my mushrooms here too. Some could be tangled up. <laughs> all right, thank you. Bye.